Good morning. Today is the 25th day of uh, April in this 2023rd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we have a partly overcast day with uh, temperatures maybe high 60s. Uh, so a relatively cooler day, a little light breeze is blowing, uh, the sun is rising and coming up real nice. So. Uh, Looking forward to having a nice day wherever we are. I hope you are as well. A prayer by Martin Luther. As you have promised, give us your goodness in place of our wickedness. Silence all cruel slanderers and accusers, those who, who magnify our faults and the devil. Do so now, and whenever our conscience is worried, Keep us from all backbiting and from exaggerating the sins of others. Judge us not by the evidence of the devil or by our own depressed consciences. Hear not the cries of our enemies who accuse us day and night before you, just as we would not listen to the slandering and accusing of others. Take from our souls the heavy burden of all our sins so that with a clear and joyful and sincere conscience, we may endure and do all things and live and die fully confident of your mercy. Amen. A familiar image uh, that Jesus gives from his parables in the uh, book of John, the 15th chapter. I am the true vine. And my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I abide as I abide in you. Just as the branches cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. The Gospel of our Lord. Luther writing in um, a devotional entitled Pruning the Branches. Christ says his father is the gardener who tends and looks after his vine God separates the wild branches from the others so that they won't spread and spoil the true vine. God singles them out to protect the true vine. He determines which ones should be cut off and tossed into the fire. But it all appears very different to us. We see these wild branches growing and spreading and they are much stronger and thicker than the others. They look like the other true ones that will produce fruit. In contrast, we appear small, puny, and unfaithful. Yes, people want to root us out and cut us off as useless and unfit. But the false vines appear as if they will remain forever and the entire world respects them highly. We need spiritual understanding and vision. No matter how many scoundrels arise up against Christians, God always cuts them off and preserves a remnant of believers. From the time of the apostles until now, many heresies have challenged the teachings of Christ, of baptism, of the Lord's Supper, of justification by faith, and so on. These heresies are so pervasive that it appears they are correct teachings and the Christian church might pass away. But God has cut off all these wild branches and preserved the true branches so that we nonetheless hold on to right teachings, baptism, and the Lord's Supper as the apostles gave them to us. Beginning with Abel, faith has pushed forward throughout the world and will prevail as long as there are believers. Not one of them will be cut off the vine. All will remain there. So we must not look at how large and strong these wild branches are. 
Instead, we should look for the true branches in Christ. This is Luther's word that speaks the truth of Christ's gospel. And let us pray. Trim us, O Lord, and prune us as is needful, for only then will we bear much fruit. Lord, we sometimes place all our confidence and trust in you that you would give to us all we need for the living of these days, that you would provide for our wants rather than just purely our needs as you so have promised. We would be like the world and have those things which make us and others appear to be happy. But sometimes, O oh Lord, the true growth of faith and the true riches of your kingdom are only born through those trials and tribulations that challenge us, that help us to examine fully our faith, the pruning that this world does of us, not only the pruning that the Father does. Trim us and refine us, O oh Lord, and help us to be strongly attached and rooted in you. Let us forsake those false branches and root them out of our life, not turning to them and what they would offer, but seeking what you would offer alone. Grace us, O Lord, as we have need this day. Help us to walk truly upon the pathway that you have shown us in Jesus our Lord. Bless the peoples of the Ukraine, of the Sudan, other places where conflict rages, where lives are in jeopardy, where lives are taken from families. Restore peace and prosperity and goodness in those places. Be a present help with Nancy and Roger. Nancy struggles for her own health and well-being. Be of help and encouragement to Linda Miller, to Linda Danley, to Benita, who sometimes gets discouraged with her own knee and back issues, with Elaine, with Miriam, with Evelyn Tompkins, Evelyn Ragg, with Tom and Nikki and Lisa, and each who places their confidence and trust in your care and your sustaining presence. And here now, the others for whom we would intercede in these moments of silence. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, giving you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, this day and forevermore. Amen.